Welcome to Deep World Updates, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. On July 8, 2025, headlines blazed, Manila unveils Sea Serpent drone fleet. In Beijing, alarm bells rang, emergency meetings, harsh condemnations and accusations of US militarization followed. But this wasn't just about new hardware, it was a seismic shift in the South China Sea's balance of power. The Philippines, long seen as a naval underdog, had just deployed a fleet of advanced, American-powered, unmanned surface vessels. These weren't remote-controlled toys, they were high-tech, long-range, AI-driven ships, built for surveillance and patrol. The message Manila was ready to defend its waters and assert its sovereignty. For China, the threat was clear. Their Coast Guard and maritime militia, used to intimidating Filipino fishermen, now faced 24 7 electronic eyes. The drones could monitor, record, and expose every move without risking Filipino lives. Suddenly China's gray zone tactics looked vulnerable. This was more than a military upgrade it was a declaration of intent. The US-Philippine alliance was entering a new era with technology at its core. The Sea Serpent fleet became the centerpiece of a regional drama watched from Washington to Beijing. For the Philippines it was a leap toward modern defense and national pride. For the US it was proof of commitment to Indo-Pacific allies. The world was watching. Would this new fleet change the game in the South China Sea? The stakes had never been higher. The Philippines had drawn a line in the water, and Beijing was forced to take notice. The era of unmanned naval power had arrived. The Sea Serpent fleet didn't appear overnight. Months of joint US-Philippine drills set the stage, with the new drones debuting at the Balakatan exercises. Filipino and American crews trained side by side, mastering not just piloting, but maintenance, data analysis, and rapid response. U.S. advisors shared hard-won expertise, ensuring the Philippine Navy could operate and sustain these assets. The result? Filipino sailors confidently commanding high-tech vessels, a symbol of rising military competence. These drills sent a clear message, the alliance is ironclad, and the technology is operational now. The Philippine Navy, once reliant on aging ships, was now agile, modern, and ready for the future. The drone program extended the Navy's reach, making persistent patrols possible at a fraction of the cost. The exercises marked a turning point. The Philippine Navy was no longer defined by its past, but by its future. The world saw a new kind of maritime power emerging in Southeast Asia. The message to potential adversaries was unmistakable. The Philippines and the U.S. stand united. The Sea Serpent drones were not just a show of force, they were a promise of enduring partnership. The era of joint, high-tech defense had begun. The Philippine Navy was ready to lead, and the region was on notice. The West Philippine Sea is more than a map dispute, it's the lifeblood of the Philippines. China's sweeping claims clash with the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, despite a 2016 Hague ruling in Manila's favor. For Filipinos, these waters mean food security, energy, and national survival. Fish stocks feed millions, untapped oil and gas promise energy independence. But Chinese ships have made these resources hard to access, driving away fishermen and blocking exploration. Maritime security is the foundation of Philippine sovereignty and economic stability. The new drone fleet changes the equation. Persistent, real-time surveillance gives Manila the power to monitor, document, and respond to incursions. Information is now a weapon, every unauthorized move can be tracked and challenged. The drones provide a cost-effective, low-risk way to defend vast waters. For the first time, the Philippines can see and act on what's happening in its own backyard. The balance of power is shifting. The West Philippine Sea is no longer a gray zone, the Philippines finally has eyes on its future. The drone program is more than a purchase, it's a partnership. The first USVs were built in the US, but production is shifting to a new Philippine shipyard. Filipino engineers and technicians are learning to assemble, test, and innovate alongside American experts. This isn't just about hardware, it's about mastering AI, software, and advanced electronics. Local companies are joining the supply chain, sparking growth in the tech sector. The goal, a self-sustaining high-tech defense industry that can design and build future unmanned systems. This collaboration is a new model for U.S. security assistance, capacity building, not dependency. The Philippines gains skills, jobs, and economic momentum. The U.S. gains a stronger, more resilient ally. Together, they're planting the seeds for a truly independent Philippine defense industry. The partnership is about shared goals and mutual respect. It's a long-term investment in regional stability. The Philippines is becoming a producer of security, not just a consumer, and that changes everything. 
The drone program is a catalyst for economic and military transformation. New shipyards and supply chains mean skilled jobs for engineers, technicians, and software developers. STEM education and vocational training are getting a boost, building a new generation of innovators. Militarily, the drones give the Philippine Navy persistent surveillance and rapid response across the West Philippine Sea. Illegal fishing, smuggling, and maritime militia activity can now be tracked and deterred. Local production reduces dependence on foreign suppliers, ensuring operational independence. The Philippines can maintain and upgrade its fleet on its own terms. This self-reliance builds national pride and credibility as a regional security partner. The country is no longer just a recipient of aid, it's an active contributor to Southeast Asian stability. The world is taking notice. The Philippines is stepping up. The partnership is a win-win. For the U.S., a stronger Philippines means a stronger ally at a strategic crossroads in the Pacific. The drone fleet supports integrated deterrence, sharing intelligence, building a collective security network, and complicating adversaries' plans. Real-world operations in the South China Sea help the U.S. refine technology and tactics for unmanned systems. Lessons learned here will shape future deployments across the U.S. Navy and Allied fleets. Diplomatically, the program proves U.S. commitment is more than words. It's action, investment, and technology transfer. Allies from Japan to Australia see the U.S. as a steadfast partner. The contrast with China's coercive approach is stark. This network of alliances is America's greatest asset in the Indo-Pacific. The Philippines, empowered and self-reliant, is now a cornerstone of regional security. The partnership is built to last. The message, the U.S. stands with its allies and together they shape the future. China's response was swift, formal protests, media campaigns and warnings of regional instability. Beijing accused Manila and Washington of stoking conflict and encirclement. Western analysts worry China might test the drones at sea, risking dangerous escalation. The drones add unpredictability to an already tense region. Southeast Asian neighbors are watching closely, some see a model to follow, others fear an arms race. ASEAN is divided. Some welcome the move, others worry about being caught between giants. The Philippines' bold step could inspire or unsettle the region. The challenge balancing security, diplomacy, and economic ties with China. The stakes for regional harmony have never been higher. The drone program's future isn't guaranteed. The Philippines must build deep technical expertise to sustain and innovate on these systems. That means investing in STEM education, research, and a skilled workforce. Training is another hurdle. Operating drones requires new skills and a cultural shift in the military. Funding must be steady, even as political winds change. Defense budgets face competition from other national priorities. The alliance with the U.S. must remain strong and consistent. Political will is the foundation. Without it, progress could stall. The path ahead is challenging, but the stakes, sovereignty, security and national pride, demand perseverance. The Sea Serpent Fleet marks a new dawn for Philippine defense. It's a symbol of renewal, pride, and self-determination. The Philippines is proving it can harness advanced technology to defend its interests. The U.S.-Philippine alliance is evolving, modern, multifaceted, and built for the future. Together they're shaping a stable, rules-based maritime order. The drones shine a light on illicit activity promoting transparency and deterrence. The South China Sea can be a waterway for peace, not conflict. The fleet is more than hardware. It's a leap forward in strategy, economy, and technology. The Philippines is charting a course toward self-reliance and a stronger regional role. The quiet hum of drones signals a new era, one of vigilance, partnership, and hope.